Oh yeah, YouTube, one of my favorite shows of the summer, The Hardcore Happening. I'm here. I'm only here for a little bit this year. I'm not going to be able to be here for dinner or the big bonfire they have. I got to leave here and I got to go help out at the Big Indian Drift Pit. Roads Art GP is today. That's right, Roads Art Grand Prix. They got a big drift show, so I got to head down there. So we're going to film a little bit of this, and then at the end, I'm going to throw some uh, drifting in here. So a little bit of a culture clash in this video. But like and subscribe, car guys and car girls, let's go. What is this, like an Opal kit car? Is that What kind of chassis is that? That is wild. Got here nice and early. We can see stuff pulling in just because we're leaving early. Old school rules. I love this show. Oh, if you've been to the hardcore happening, you know this car. This thing shreds. Oh, I want this thing so bad. I am a big nerd for period correct stuff, and this old school Tempest is sick. The old style flames, the real wild 70s hood, man. That is cool. See, this is the stuff I want to try to start doing at Big Indian. We got an awesome following for the import scene, drift cars, all that. But I want to bring that little touch of old school. This is cool. This is really nice. Oh, look at the motor in there and everything. <clears throat> 1973 International. That's what the registration says. This is the big bonfire they light up at night. This truck is sweet, man. It's kind of old school, got a little bit of a rat rod feel to it, but it's still a clean build. He's had some fat tires on this thing, though. She, she been chafing in there. But I see why he put some fat tires on this thing. He's got a stout little small block in it. Real clean small block in it. I want to hear this thing run. I hope this thing burns down the pit. That'd be pretty cool. Good looking GTO. I love this color scheme. I love mini trucks. I want to hear this thing run. Blown flathead in here. That's gnarly. That's cool. Keith just pointed this out. Look, he bought the cow separate and still has the sold sign on it. That's neat. This is real cool. Real neat patina. Hudson Hornet. I screwed it up again. I don't care. That's like my third take. I don't see a lot of these. That is sweet. I've seen this here before. This might even be in one of my other videos, but I'm going to film it and put it in this one. See notched. This thing's cool. Getting ready to start the burnout soon. I'm going to film some burnouts, hang out for a little bit, and then right before dinner starts, me and my crew are heading out.
tries in the joint. Not turbo, just looks like it.
like fucking eighty-five thousand dollars. Gotta go help out on a big Indian drift pit. As you can see, there's still party in here. It's just before five o'clock, just before dinner. Look at this gorgeous Cadillac. Look at them fins. It's got some pearl in it. Beautiful car. All right, guys, me and my friends, we're gonna bail early this year. That's the new edge out front, followed by the Fox Body.
Hell yeah, guys, it was an awesome Saturday. But yo, speaking of an awesome Saturday, August 19th, that's right, my show's coming up, Hot Rods and Hair Bands. Here are the details we got so far. We got that 80s hair band playing that night. We're gonna have an awesome Australian burnout competition. If you're gonna come down, you got a chance to win over $1,000 in cash and prizes. It's $20 registration if you're putting your car in the pre-2005 car show. And that includes your tickets to the burnout show and seeing the band and hanging out and partying with us. If you want to come down and just watch, it's $10 entry fee and it's going to be an awesome time. Like and subscribe. See you guys down there. And I got an awesome video coming up about the trophies that I ordered for that show. So stay tuned.